Here's a quick look at the text input methods on the Touch Diamond. I don't normally like doing this on video because with the camera in front of my face it's exceedingly difficult to do. But people are really interested so if you bear with me um, I'll give you as good an overview as I can. So as you can see right now we've got the QWERTY screen up. Um, there are a couple different options for it. You can turn on and off the predictive T9 text by hitting this little button down here which is pretty convenient. We're going to turn it off to start and we're just going to use it normally. This is a test message. Now, you can see I made some mistakes early on, partly due to the fact that I'm looking at this from a really strange angle. I can't hold it normally. Um, keyboards. The keys are a little thin. Um, it's it's usable, but it's it's a little difficult. One thing that we would certainly like to see is, or feel more specifically, is haptic feedback, vibration feedback when the keys are pressed. Um, something they haven't done yet. They said they had some difficulty when we first talked to them about the diamond um, back in the launch event in London. So. There's some basic text there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to what they call the Compact QWERTY keyboard. That is really it's a BlackBerry Shore type type 20 key hybrid keyboard. Um, again with or without predictive text. So with predictive text off you have to hit you know, the, this key here twice to get an H for example. You hit it once, you get a G. You hit it twice, you get an H. So here is more text. Okay, and you hold down one of the keys to get one of the shifts or so like to get a number or a period like I just did. So, you know, to get a number you just hold down the key. It's pretty convenient. Turn on predictive text, it gets definitely easier. Oops. It does get tripped up with uh, words though, especially if you're putting in URLs, I find it to be quite difficult to use. And again, part of these, some of these mistakes are my fault because of the weird angle. So definitely, um, the 20 key is not bad at all with you have, when you have the predictive stuff on. Uh, lastly, of course, there is regular phone keypad thing and again it has T9 and you can turn T9 on and off. This actually isn't bad at all so anybody that's used to using this kind of thing on a regular phone won't have any problems adapting. Um, but again sometimes the word prediction and stuff it gets a little messed up when you're trying to put in URLs, usernames, passwords, other weird things like that that aren't normal simple words. So here we go again you can see it works pretty quickly one of the complaints though is the size of the text input methods they really take up a lot more space than the traditional Windows Mobile keyboard does. And as a result, a lot of times you have things on the screen that get covered up by the keyboard so you can't see what you're entering and you have to flip it on and off and such, which isn't really difficult, but it, it definitely makes it a little less useful than it would be otherwise. But compared to trying to use this with a finger or a thumb or something like that, you know, the uh, HTC methods are, are much, much better. So there you have it quick look at the text input on the Sprint version of the HTC Touch Diamond. Uh, this applies pretty much to the regular Touch Diamonds, um, even the Touch Pros and stuff. Hope you enjoyed it.